Good afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we had the big PCA trade show. And uh, last week, we were hoping to kind of maybe talk about some of that new stuff, uh, but we weren't able to get any of it, or at least what I was hoping to get in hadn't gotten anything in, which is why we missed you guys last week. However, we have come back this week with the goods. Uh, we're always excited when we get new product in here, but when we get new product from the good folks at Eroa, Asylum, and CLE, we get really happy. And what we've got here, this is the latest offering in the CLE line. Uh, this is a Honduran-grown Cameroon. If that sounds a little odd, there's good reason for it, because there's not much of it out there. If it sounds a little familiar, there's a good reason for that, too. Because Christian Eroa's father, Julio Eroa, with JRE, -E, -E, Aladino, and the like, released the Aladino Cameroon last year. That was the first known using of Honduran-grown Cameroon that I've personally come across. But now Christian has done it as well, and he's done it with the new CLE Signature Cameroon THT EKE 317. Now that's a whole lot there for uh, of numbers and letters as far as the name of the cigar goes. So I think the what it's going to be referred to as is going to be the CLE Signature Cameroon. But that THT EKE 317 that you see there, uh, they're not disclosing what that means. Uh, Christian has said that maybe he will discuss that at some point, but as of right now, mums the word on whatever that letter and number designation is for these cigars. Now to give you a look at them here, we've got brand new fresh boxes just came in today. Let you get a good look at the sticks themselves. And you can see that big fancy weird designation that they have there on the top of the box. Again, don't know what that means, uh, but hopefully we'll get some light shed on that before too long. Now, as far as the cigar itself, there is some mystery going on there as well. Uh, being that we've already talked about that Honduran-grown Cameroon wrapper, we know what the wrapper is, but that's all we know. There is no information being released right now on the blend, nor on the binder. So it is kind of what it is, but Thinking back to that Aladino Cameroon was very different. Uh, whether it was the different growing locale for that tobacco or whether it was the blend that Julio put together for that cigar, it definitely was a standout Cameroon. Not your typical mild, easygoing blend sporting a Cameroon wrapper. If you want to think to Arturo Fuente's Core Line, if you want to think to Red Dot Cohiba, uh, that's where you, the, the strength and flavor profile for a Cameroon usually falls. Uh, so Julio definitely turned it up a notch. Being that the Eroas are the kings of Corojo, I find it highly improbable that there is not a good amount of Eroa Corojo in here. It's definitely the signature leaf, the signature flavor note amongst their lines. Uh, so I would be absolutely dumbfounded were there not any Corojo in this blend. But as you can see, all three boxes still have the ribbons on them there. Uh, so we have literally just pulled these out of the case uh, and we have not even smoked them yet. So they literally just arrived here this afternoon. Uh, hope to smoke one real soon and maybe if we can do a little, maybe possibly sit down and do a review on this one. We thought about maybe doing some reviews here for the Humidor Report. This might be a good way to break into that. But for now, we at least want to let you know what it is where it came from, and that we finally have it here. The three Vitolas that you see here, we've got a Robusto, we've got, uh, I guess, a Toro, and we've got a 6x60 is what we've got here. Those are the three regular production sizes of this blend. The other size was actually the first release size in this blend, and it is a TAA release in the famous 1118 size. It's that slight perfecto-shaped Toro that Christian is well known for, used it back in the Camacho days, and still uses it now in the Eroa CLE days as well. Uh, that one, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any of that. We have been able to get some TAA stuff here and there, uh, but maybe we'll see those, but if not, we for sure have these three sizes on the shelf ready to go. Uh, it will be a regular production, but again, these days, regular production can only really mean so much because there's plenty of regular production stuff from many manufacturers right now that are still stuck in back order limbo. So even regular production the, these days might mean there's going to be gaps where you just don't see it for a little while. Hopefully, since this is just rolling out and hitting retailers nationwide, uh, hopefully the, there, there's a good amount out there in this first order that we'll have these here for a bit and we'll see some more coming in to back it up as we move through the product. Uh, but that's going to do it for this week. want to make sure you guys got the first look at the new CLE Signature Cameroon THT 
EKE317, whatever that means. But here they are. Come check them out. Stop by and make sure you get yours today. So that'll wrap us up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure that if you're watching this on Facebook, please drop over there to YouTube. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, we appreciate all the help we can get on that front over there. Uh, but do stay tuned. We should be back with you next week, same time, with another edition of the Humidor Report. And until then, I'm Justin. We'll see you at the club.